Hello, this is Ken Lairs of the Feral Ninjas presenting to you a melee training guide. I am going to be focusing on how to train efficiently at the armored zombies. There is not much intro to this video, so let's get started with this. First, I want to talk about the only real requirement, and that is the fact that you need to have completed the Defender of Varrock quest. During that, you first encounter the armored zombies, so make sure you have that quest finished first. Now I'd like to give you a little bit of basic information about the zombies. They are combat level 85 with 850 life points and their max hit is 80. They use either a melee or range attack and they are aggressive. They also are undead race so if you don't know what that means then pay attention when we cover the gear. And as far as the drops go the rarest items are the dragon spear and the loop half of a key and also they do drop a zombie challenge scroll. Other than that, they drop a lot of noted items such as planks and essence that you should consider picking up as they can add up very quickly. And they also are a, have a pretty good charm drop rate, especially for blue charms. Now moving on to cover the gear. As you see in the image, you generally just want to bring a good melee setup. This is the only recommended method for getting fast XP. The only items you may see out of the normal is the salve amulet. Since the zombies are undead, wearing this will give you a 15% bonus to your attack and strength. And getting your amulet enchanted by defeating Tarn Razorlor will also add another 5 to that, giving you a plus 20% to your attack and strength bonus. Also, if you use a Void Knight melee gear, this also further increases your bonuses. And there's no need to bring a shield as you will be using melee protection prayer the entire time. This is why I have a rune defender for those pretty good attack bonuses involved with that. As far as the rest of your gear goes, just focus on getting a nice strength bonus. Now we can quickly move through the inventory. As you see, there's not much to it. Bringing two super attack and two super strength potions as well as quick teleports back to Varrock for the fastest restocks. Also, I strongly recommend using the Enhanced Excalibur here for your special as it heals you and also gives a defense boost. Then bring about a dozen or a bit more of food of your choice. You won't need anything too great. Lobsters always do just fine for me. Alright, now that you're set up, let's figure out how to get there. There are two simple methods. The first is simply just walking from the Grand Exchange as shown by the yellow line. And the second option is is to use your games necklace to teleport to stealing creations. Either way works fine. The games necklace will not take up any needed spaces in your inventory. Okay, and now we are here, so turn on your quick prayers. I personally like to use piety and protect for melee. If you can't use piety, any type of stat boosting prayer will work. And you will be going through prayer very fast, but the altar is right above you. You may also choose to bring a shield instead of a defender and then not using your melee prayer. In return for doing this, you have a greater possibility of being able to stay under there longer before having to recharge your prayer. Whatever you do though, it will not be significantly different, so either methods are fine. Just test both. Maybe one will work better for you. And before you head down the ladder, make sure you charge your prayer up at the altar first, pot up, and head down. As you see, these zombies are right here at the ladder, so turn on your prayers and get to attacking right away. As you will soon find out they have low defense and mixing with your prayer, potion, and gear and strength bonuses, you'll be ripping them apart. Keep your auto retaliate on to help speed up your training even more, but always keep an eye open, especially on your prayer. It is also an option to use only a prayer like PAT and relying on your Excalibur to heal you. This method also works just as fine. But as I said earlier, keep an eye on your prayer. When it gets low, hop upstairs, recharge, hop right back down. The whole process takes just seconds. You will quickly see the XP adding up, but keep alert as they will become non-aggressive and climbing up the ladder does not always solve this problem. So when down in the tunnel, you will have to run around the corner, then straight back. You will also see another group of zombies around this corner. So if you wish, you can just train here as it is almost no further of a walk and a lot less crowded, usually. But just keep focused and start racking up the XP. Usually with this setup, I will halfway pay attention and I can easily gain 60k XP an hour. I have recorded almost 80k XP in one hour personally in my gear. Using Stealing Creations armor and Void Knight armor 
will be increases as well. People have rumored this set can go easily over 100k, especially with the stealing creations armor XP bonus. And that's pretty much it. They are a very simple training method and also extremely, and if not, the best melee training method available right now. Hope this guide helps. If so, then please rate and subscribe for more videos in the future as well. Thank you for watching.